Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of Classic Classic. And as you can already tell, yes, I'm using an emulator for this entry because this game, Mega Man and Base Challenger from the Future, was originally exclusively released on the Bandai Wonderswan back in the late 90s. And the best way I can describe this game is it's kind of like the Wonderswan, Rockman and Forte equivalent of Rockman World. Um, now, truth be told, yes, I do have the original cartridge of that game, game, and a, um, Swan Crystal. Now, what the Swan Crystal was, it was really a touch up, it was just a Wonder Swan color with a much better screen. Kind of like how, uh, the later iterations of the Game Boy Advance SP had a much better, um, backlight for it. And if you actually look closer to um, the guy in the very front center, it should look very familiar to you if you remember our playthrough of Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. And just like Mega Man based on the Super Famicom slash Game Boy Advance, Once again, Big Man and Base do have to set aside their feud and take on the current threat. And this game did not have an English release, but it did get a fan translation. So, hence, reason number two as far as emulation. Now then, let's go ahead and get started. And unlike the last game, we're going to go ahead and just play as Mega Man. Alright. I will say, at least the sound quality is a little more tolerable than uh, Mega Man 2 on the uh, Game Boy. Jesus Christ, if you guys remember that. I can't slide into that. actually fairly short. Because there's like... Because I've seen a playthrough of this game once, and there's like... Uh, a total of nine stages, I believe. Hold on. No, six. No. Eight stages, including this one, I believe. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Hey, extra guy. Of course, those spikes are a little too close. I can't get that because I don't have the weapon to bust through it, nor do I want to. Ow. There we go. Now then. Can't get that. Ow! I don't think so. Alright. Alright, and here we are on our first boss. And, truth be told, this is the one classic entry I've never beaten. Alright. And that's one. And I should also note that um, after each stage you clear, your special weapons. Again, special weapons don't get charged. And 
it's no big secret to who it is. Do I want to say now? Yes. So I'll show off what all makes the Wonder Swan stand out. Aircon man, that's an air conditioning. So yes, we do have to rotate that, and thankfully we could do that with the emulator with the push of a button. Let's go. And there you have it. If I get any game overs. There we go. Beat. I need 
help badly. This is going to be quite the interesting playthrough. And I say that because, again, this is the one Mega Man game I've not beaten. As compared to all the other ones, I've not played this one very often. to the other one.
Ow. Figure out some of those spacings are just really tight. Yeah, they don't die like they would in the original. Yes, I'm gonna see now. Sounds silly? That's because yes, it is silly. Anyways. So see how quickly I took out the other ones? I wonder if they're all gonna be about as easy as this. Perfect shot. Ooh, I 
I will take that. Thank you. Okay. Over a bed of spikes. That's never good. over immediately.
Yes. Thank you. That's all I needed. Now we can continue on. And hey. Perfect timing. Let's find out.
perfect.
please. Uh, let's try again. All the way from the beginning.
that's really good. Very good, very good, very good. Now, smit uh, surviving this mess. Aha! Now we got the strategy. Jump, slide, and wait till it gets there. Damn! Oh, so close. That's okay, it's okay. That's it! Finally. system again. Ugh.
Okay, okay. <laughs> now then. Search me. Got 
knows I'm going to do that. Ah! 
that is not with. And pathetically easy. Time switch. How does that work? Oh. It's just a flash stopper, like Mega Man 2. but we'll find out. Other than not die. There we go. Uh huh. Thank you. 
zip in the session. Shall we? Yep, that's who he was.
Shadow or Quint. Am I supposed to jump on those? Okay. Because if that's the case, I'm, that's going to be a head slap moment. See what I have to do. Just take those guys out. Oh, for this uh, section. This is where the difficulty ramps up a bit. And I blame it on BS level design. I pressed jump. I fucking pressed jump. And I'm on my last guy. Wow. Now that was a real waste.
<laughs> I don't like what's position. Halfway through, at least. Alright, I see the trick to this thing. There we go. That's it. I can actually recharge you. Now then. And 
that's game. Ominous, believe it or not, and for any lifelong Mega Man fans, know ex you excuse me. For all you lifetime lifelong Mega Man fans, you know exactly where I'm getting at. care of Mega Man and Base Challenger of the Future for the Wonder Swan. Not too bad of a game, but I can easily see why they didn't bother releasing this in the US. Because honestly, it's just kind of interesting. It's not a bad game. It's just there. So... And when we do meet up again, guys, we will be tackling uh, Mega Man 9, which was where <laughs> Capcom really did go back in graphics. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fan frickin' night, and I will see you next time. <laughs>